All righty. Welcome back, everybody. feel like we haven't done one of these pods in like six months. Um, really? That's how it feels for me. It goes me. that long. No, it obviously, I mean, it obviously wasn't that long, but it's just, it's just how uh, it feels well, for me. Because I've, I've wanted to discuss, obviously, these games all week. Oh, before. yeah. Um, so I'm really excited. We have, uh, as Nick Wright calls it, the best weekend in sports. He believes that the divisional rounds is the best weekend in all of sports, which I could see, I'm, especially with how the how it's been the last few years. I could see that. Also, as a Chiefs fan, I could also see that why he would say that. But um, not as a Bills fan, I, I don't see any Bills fans agreeing with that. No, no. Um, what was no, I, no, no. I mean, I kind of agree. I think I wouldn't say for football necessarily just because you know NBA and NHL I'm both a fan of and they go at the same time so but the second round like it's like the perfect level of like all right no bum teams that snuck in are still in it but like um there's still a lot of teams in it to watch whereas in the finals like you know you get three days off between every game and it's kind of annoying and that, that's you know you always like hear you still hear about like the teams that make a run to the AFC or NFC title, right? It's like, oh, that year they made it to the title. So this is still a very important game for everyone's legacies. Yeah, that that, but that's why I feel like on the surface too, people would probably be like, what? Like you think the divisional round is better than the conference championship and then the Super Bowl? But for me, it's kind of like how, for me, for for college basketball, March Madness, the best part of March Madness is the first week because you have you have games going on from like 10 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. And there's so much happening. And by the time like you get to like, said it better myself. Yep. And, and by the time you get to like the elite eight or final four, like, yeah, the games are sometimes great, but the excitement just isn't all the way there for me as it is when it first starts. Cause you get to see all the upsets and everything. But anyways, um, let's get to our predictions while we're in our predictions. We will kind of discuss some of what, we've been getting right and some of what we've been getting wrong um I, i'm on the brunt of a lot of that um yes, and so uh, at least one big one <laughs> so without further ado uh we will start which is going to be the first game today texans versus ravens um and let me say this right i thought that if i thought that the browns were going to beat the texans and then I thought that they were going to beat um, – I thought the Browns ha had the capability to beat the Ravens. And I, I guess that's why we didn't do the full bracket. Wow. I do not believe the Texans can can compete with the Ravens. Um, like I said, we, we, we said this in the first round. Like, the Texans just getting to the playoffs was a success in itself. They have accomplished – Far more than than they should have this year. Um, I just can't see a world where they beat the Ravens. I mean, if they do, great. But um, you know, I I think I think the Ravens kind of got an easy an easy road here, which they deserve. You get the one seed, you deserve to get the easiest road. You know, um, yeah. and I think that hopefully they take advantage of it. I think that I will say though, this is a really big game for Lamar because. Lamar hasn't done well in the playoffs. And if for some reason he's he's about to have two MVPs, but for somehow if he somehow loses today, all of that will completely be erased. All of that will be erased. Um and there's more MVPs than playoff wins. Yeah. So, but this is why I say always about the Ravens, like they have to prove it to me that like everybody thinks they're gonna be a Super Bowl team. I don't yeah. see a world where that exists, but um but yeah, I still I still think the Ravens take care of business here. Lamar would have to win the Super Bowl this year to end the season with a positive record in the playoffs. That's how bad that's how bad he's in the playoffs. Um, but that being said, yeah, I'll also take the Ravens here. Um, they've had the extra week of um rest. Um, a lot of their guys who were injured are getting healthy, including Mark Andrews. You should have seen the way I was parade. I know he's not. I know he's not playing, but. You nope. should have seen the way I was parading around my hallway when Mark Andrews. I was like, "What?" Because they they nope. they said like they were like, "Yeah, there's an off chance he comes back," but like they they always say that. So I just figured that he was done, 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 done. What? To me, I thought that could have possibly hurt them if he would have played. I mean, what? Like, because, is it likely because, playing well. 
because they've just been playing so well as it is. If he were to come back, my worry is for them that they would try to go to him and focus on him a little too much instead of running with what's been working. From what I've seen, um, from what I've seen that they people were saying that they were going to use him in a tight end two role just in case he were to re-aggravate something. So they weren't going to run with him mainly. They were going to still continue using Likely as they should because Likely has been playing out of his mind um, for a backup tight end. But yeah. um, yeah, I mean, just getting him out there on the field, even even if he's just blocking. I mean, the, the guy is wonder. He's a great tight end, whereas. Kelsey, I feel like Kelsey is a great pass catching tight end. Gronk, Mark Andrews, they're just great at everything being a tight end, blocking and catching. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, no, you you said it perfectly. Um, I think the Ravens are gonna win. I don't think it's gonna be any crazy bad game for Stroud. Um, I think Lam- I I have a s- small prediction. Lamar might be a little bit rusty getting back into it just because it's been so long. I'm not sure if he's ever had the the buy at least not as far as I've watched. So he's gone to Kansas City. Yes, yes. Uh, did he win the Did he win the playoff game after that? Oh yeah, yeah. Because he did go to the. I thought he went to the conference finals. I, th- I thought he did one year, and that's probably why. Um, but still, I, I feel like he might be a little bit rusty. But uh, rust wears off if it's only been like a couple of weeks. You know, it's not like it's been really long. So um, yeah, I'll take the Ravens in this. Yeah, and and I also think too that he can still be a little rusty and them them get it done, but but yeah. So shout out to CJ Stroud though. Moving absolutely. Moving on to the next game, another game that people are trying to force an upset on Niners Packers, and you know me, I'm not the biggest Niners guy, but let me say this: like as great as the Packers played, and I give them a lot of credit. I also think a lot of that had to do with how bad the Cowboys defense was and how how much Dak shrunk um with his play specifically in the first three quarters. I mean it was it was atrocious. Completely atrocious. They beat themselves um, that game. They beat themselves. Yeah, that, no. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like like people and again, this is nothing against the Packers. I think they would admit this. Like and that was more about the Cowboys losing than the than the Packers winning. They played phenomenal. And Jordan Love, I will say this. This is something we talked about at the beginning of the year. I'm not going to get on here and say that I predicted this because I didn't I said that he didn't have to be great, but I said that I trusted him because I trust the Packers with how they've developed quarterbacks over time. With Brett Favre, after Brett Favre, they they nurtured Aaron Rodgers for a couple of years. And then they drafted Jordan Love, and I think it was 2019, and everyone, even Aaron Rodgers was mad about that. But obviously, this is what they do, and it works. And you also see so much of Aaron Rodgers in Jordan Love. Like, there were times where I felt like when Jordan, like watching the Cowboys game, I felt like I was watching Aaron Rodgers in 2010. Like, I was like, wow, man. Like, he, he really studied Aaron Rodgers and was ready for this occasion. And I think the same thing as the Texans. They overachieved, and I think the run stops here. I think the Niners soundly beat them. I don't think this is going to be much of a game. I'm kind of pissed off about these Saturday games. Not pissed off, but I think that we have another possibility of of two games not being very good. I hope I'm wrong, but um, well, yeah, I think I think the Niners. um, I think I think the Niners win. Well, yeah, for whatever reason, they threw both the one seats on today. I wouldn't have done that. I would have done. I would have thrown maybe the um, the this game tomorrow. I would have done this game tomorrow and the Lions game today because I feel like the Lions game and the Chiefs game are going to be like the closest games, which are both on Sunday. Um, but uh, dude, watch, watch me be wrong in both these teams. I'm really pulling for the Ravens, so automatically now they're going to lose because I said that. Um, but yeah, no, 49. That's not that much that needs to be said other than the fact that I did not – I wasn't familiar with your game, Jordan Love. I really, <laughs> I really crapped you out at the beginning of the year, Mike. You were right about um, the Packers organization and how they would perform this year. I know you didn't say they'd get this far in the playoffs. Take the win, um, but yeah, yeah, no, I'll take the 49ers easily. Okay, cool. for three. All righty, now let's get to the games that uh, we really want to talk about. Um, tomorrow, three o'clock, we got the Bucks versus the Lions. Now, fact, dude, I, wait, 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 before you say anything, I saw um, a po- I saw a post that said the fact that either the last overall pick in the draft, um, a rookie quarterback, 
Baker Mayfield of the Detroit Lions are going to the Super Bowl is ludicrous. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, threw Baker Mayfield in there. They're like, fuck this guy. So, um, yeah, I think this game's kind of tough because I think that I think that two things, two things are true, right? When it comes to the Bucks, and I was wrong about this, completely wrong. Um, I I guess like I the Eagles just aren't a good team they weren't a good team and so i think that a lot of people are misconstruing with the bucks playing kind of like what people are thinking with the packers like Mm -hmm. i don't like they played against such a horrific defense i i really downplayed how bad that eagles defense it was like oh my goodness like i mean i don't know how you did you saw the stats on first thing first every week when bruce said that he took him to the super bowl nick was like yeah well look at these you know me though i don't always necessarily just look at the stats like i i I look at it from a standpoint of and by the way, I wasn't saying that the Eagles were going to go to the Super Bowl. I, I just thought they were still going to be able to beat the Bucs just out of pure, we've been here before, we know what it takes, and just it's just one game. Um, but clearly I was wrong. Um, and I feel like now the, a lot of people think that the Bucs are this like team that's going to come out and score like 30 to 40 points on the Lions, and I honestly just right. don't see that happening. I know a lot of people think that it's going to be a shootout. Maybe it's going to be. But then I also look at it from the Lions standpoint of like that game, like trust me, like during the second round of the playoffs, they're they're very motivated. I don't think they will be as motivated for this game as they were for that first home playoff game. Like that was just I mean, a the- different energy. Like you had every Detroit name there. Like it was bizarre. So I don't know if they were, might rock a little hangover from that game or not, but all in all. I still think the Lions are going to beat the Bucs. Um, and I don't want to say I hope I'm wrong because either way, I don't really – like, I'll be I'll be fine with whoever yeah. wins this game. Um, but I I, th- I think the Lions are going to beat them. Yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah, no, some, something else to take into consideration, which is awesome for the Lions, is the fact that since the Cowboys lost, this is that's the reason that they have home field for this game. If the Cowboys won – Regardless, I'm pretty sure they would have had to play the Cowboys away in Dallas. So the Cowboys losing is huge for the Lions. And if they make it to the conference championship, they can probably thank the Packers for that. But um, I don't know. I got, I don't want to just keep taking the 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 home team, the the higher seed team. But I, I still feel like the Lions. I feel like this is the easiest upset for the away team. Eh. How about this? I feel like this is the easy because I feel like Chiefs Bills is so 50 50. I feel like, yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I meant to say. Like, like what I'm not, I'm talking about favorites here. I feel like they're so 50 50 that it's like, you know, whatever, just because the Bills are so much better this year. But in history and playoffs, the Chiefs, you know, I feel like, I feel like the Bucks beating the Lions would be called an upset. Um, just, you know, not literally, but figuratively, it would be an upset. Um, I feel like that's just the one that could happen. Take that into consideration when I do take the Lions here, because just because I think the Lions are the better team, I'm not gonna pick the the Buccaneers just because. Oh, I haven't picked a lower seed yet. I I want to because I, I hate I hate watching the shows where they just take the favorite. But w- w- what did Broussard say? Upsets mm-hmm. this week. <laughs> upset alert. Nobody. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah. If, if I had to throw somebody on upset alert, um. That isn't in the Bills Chiefs game because, like I said, I don't think anyone would be upset there. I just think it's a good clash. Um, I'd take the Buccaneers on the upset. Cool. Oh, oh, um, oh another thing I'd like to add. Um, I, 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 I'm not. You know, I'm huge into Baker. I already texted you this. I'm just letting everyone know. I don't think he had this crazy good game last week. You need to look at the. I, I took a screenshot. Um, Baker passed for what? Like, um, actually, let me look it up right now. Um, because I'm pretty sure I know the number of um what I'm trying to go for here, but I just need to find one other number. Um, so Baker threw for 337 yards. I am pretty sure, based on what I saw, every over 230 of them were after the catch, breaking tackles. So that means in the air, Baker really only threw for a So that I'm trying, I'm not trying to like dismiss him or anything, but. No, I don't want to stand out here and act like he was like balling. 
right? Like he was making some smart decisions, but it was really the Eagles defense just not making a tackle. And do you remember like the Trey Palmer 30 yard touchdown? And then Chris Godwin's touchdown, it came right after Slay got hurt and Slay was on like Evans all night and they had no idea what they were doing because Godwin and Evans weren't doing anything in the first. They were thrown to that David Moore guy. I don't even know who the hell that is. So no, I don't think Baker played out of his mind. Yeah, it's one of those things where you know you you have to actually watch the game. You know what I mean? Like and and, yeah. and you know if you just look at the stats, you don't you're not getting the full picture. That's how I felt yeah, about who, that's how I felt about Dak's game. But um, Nick Wright had Baker above Goff, and I was like, no, absolutely not. He just did that. I think I think he I think he just did that to mess with Brew. To be honest, but. You're fair. Put Baker at the top. I, I have a question though. Um, what do you think that the 49ers are out of it if they go down, let's say, fourteen to three in the first? No, but I think it'll become here. I, I think that if the 49ers don't get a lead, like 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 if the Packers do get the momentum that the Cowboy that they did against the Cowboys. I think it'll be a game, but I still think the Niners. I like. I think it'll get. I think it'll end up being like a within a touchdown game, but I don't think it'll it'll get like out of hand or anything. I think what needs to happen if that were to occur is um they would um what what's the phrase training wheels Shanahan would have to throw the training wheels on and be like we've seen Debo Samuel run fifty yard laterals for touchdowns we have one of, if not the best running back in the league. We have all these tools. We can make short passes to Kittle, who can just block his way forward. Ayuk, don't be a hero, Brock Purdy. We are putting the training wheels on you to get back to an even score. Then when we take the league, I mean, the league, then when we take the lead, go do you. Yeah, I think, I think, I think they're going to I think they're gonna do that regardless, to be honest. Maybe, maybe. But you know? they would definitely have to do it in that situation. I th- I think I think regardless, that's how they're probably going to approach this game. But I mean, we'll see. Anyways, um, yeah, let's move. Let's move on. Final game. Yeah. So now the final game. Um, they, we got the Chiefs Bills. The Bills are favored by two and a half. I guess people haven't learned anything. And let me just say this: the Bills are not healthy, specifically on the defensive end. Like, I feel like nope. people are not taking that into consideration. The Bills played on Monday on basically a hardwood floor, cement floor. Like, why? Why do you try to take away? uh, So so they have a really bad defense, right? Their defense is really banged up. Wow. That means that whoever played them last week really must have just shit the bed, huh? Yeah, it was the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, like. I feel like I you keep thinking you that, that, that take, I feel man. like you, I feel like not, you keep not, thinking not only not only did you take the Steelers, but then you tried to convince me that it wasn't bias. Yeah, I don't think it and was. And then and then I know exactly what you'd have done. I think the Steelers beat the Ravens in the regular season. You would have taken them against the Ravens this week. No, but I think they would have had a a decent shot because of it's any anytime you play anyone that you played in the division. Anytime you play a team that's in your division in the playoffs, you have a much better chance than most other teams. Like, that's just a fact. I know. I know. It's just. I just love how you As just bad, don't think you were biased on that one. I wasn't biased on that, but that's fine. You 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 could think that. That's okay. But, I mean, I just think the thing is the Bills played a great game and the Steelers played terrible. And in the fourth quarter, they were still within a touchdown to tie the game or win the game. So I, I don't see, I still don't see your point there, but yeah. I mean, I don't think the, I don't think the Bills played a great game. I think Josh Allen had one amazing run. That run was really good. Um, But other than that, no, I don't think, I don't think that was Bill's standard game. I don't think that was a really good game. Oh, I think it was. I think it was, but, but, um, Anyways, I mean, yeah, you got to take everything into consideration, but yeah, again, I don't know what your point was there, but yes, I was wrong about the Steelers. Sure. Um, but anyways, um, I just, I honestly think that if the bills were fully healthy, they would have a, like, they would have a good shot at winning this game. But I also absolutely love what I saw from Patrick Mahomes last week against the dolphins, um, in that type of weather, I just, I like, 
to me, it's kind of a no brainer that the Chiefs are going to win. And I'm not even trying to, I'm not even trying to think, I'm not even saying that the Chiefs are that much of a better team. I just think the Chiefs have such an advantage right now on the Bills. I really do. Um, And I don't know how everybody else doesn't see that. Um, I think that, again, I've, I've eaten my words on the Bills and I've, I've come around, like, well, not come around because, I mean, Josh Allen would, you know, if Josh Allen loses this game, he's still in the same place that he's been in for the last however many years. But um, he's not going to take it lightly. But but um, and neither is Mahomes. Like they they like they're coming. Let's also take into consideration too. I never the Chiefs flat out lost to the Bills last time around, but they they almost basically beat the Bills the last time around when they were playing arguably their worst football and missing a couple people as well. Now, hey Tony, uh. <laughs> Now, um, with that being said, yeah, like it, like I, I'm not saying that the Chiefs are gonna blow them out or anything, but I just find it so hard to believe that some people like really, really think that the Bills are like going to win this game with how banged up they are coming off of the the last game. I don't know. I just, I just don't see it. And maybe I'm wrong, but and Joe maybe will call it bias for some reason because apparently everything's biased. But I don't know. The Steelers. I, I, I I got the Chiefs. All right. Um, I I said bias because of the Bills, not the not the Steelers. I mean the Steelers, not the Bills in that matchup. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, no, I mean Mahomes always loses to Allen in the regular season, so it doesn't doesn't really. Matter. Can you enable sh- screen sharing? I have something. Thank you. Um, oh, wait. Uh, I think I went a little early. Yes, I did. All right, so this is a full Mm. circle moment for me because this was the very first podcast we ever did. Sounds not on. Thank you, Mike. You already know what it is, though. (laughs) And that's why (laughs) I have followed suit with all of... First things first. I oh got, man, that's great. Is that is never that, a doubt? Is that what round you exit. did? Is that what you were doing? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Have the, the sharpie right here. That's Second round insane. exit, Kansas City Chiefs. You heard it here first. Really? You got them going down the second round? I hope. <laughs> so, with that being said, I was right about the Rams. And I'm gonna be right about the Chiefs second. That's the only reason I'm taking. You know, usually okay, people. You know, usually not people would post that like after they were like right about. It. I'm saying, look, we're this close to it happening. We're this close to it happening. Uh, the are Chiefs we? are a, the the Chiefs are a. Well, look, well, look at look at it like this, right? I understand the Chiefs are the Chiefs in the playoffs, but if it was going to happen any year in the Mahomes era, would it not be this year? With the worst receivers, he's playing away for the first time. I'm not saying that those are reasons he's going to lose, but those are reasons that it's more likely this year than any other year for him to lose his first divisional round game. Yeah, and it's also going to so be that's right yeah, which which also isn't saying much. I I also I and I think that's I think that's great too because when the Bills do lose. It's going to be like, okay, like, can we finally all, like, come to the conclusion that this is not a rivalry and it's never been a rivalry? Because, said, even, when? because even at the Chiefs' worst, they still beat the Bills. Like, it's not a rivalry. Not, get away yeah, from all this no. Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes bullshit. Like, no. Like, the the the, the fact that – and I, I genuinely don't think you're confident in this pick. I really don't. Absolutely not. I mean, are you <laughs> confident in every pick you've ever taken every week? No. no. It's a 50-50 game. I, I said that. In my brain, is a 50-50 game. And no, I'm going... I'm more so just making a general point of, like, we're all agreeing that this is the Chiefs at their worst right now. And, and, yes. and, and everybody who's still picking the Bills are still not even that confident. I just think that's, like, that says so much about the Chiefs. You know what oh. I mean? This is in no way to um, what is it? I Talk bad about you. the Chiefs? I didn't say or, you. I, I didn't say I, you. I know. I know. It's just 
it, it does speak levels. I, I agree with you that it speaks levels to how good the Chiefs are, that it's still like a, I'm calling it a 50-50 this year, you know? I, but, I mean, shit, it's in Buffalo. Um, The Bills are 110% the hotter team right now. Um, Josh Allen's arguably the hotter quarterback, especially with his run game the last couple of weeks. Um, I, you're acting like I'm gonna, like, like I'm gonna be watching this game and it, let's say for whatever reason you're awake, they're going to be down like 20 to three at halftime. And you're going to be like, I told you, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not going to be shocked if they're down 20 to three at halftime, stop but putting, they're the team I'm taking. Stop putting words in my mouth, first of all. And also, you thought you did something. I'm not. There. I'm saying that's what's going to happen. You thought you did something there, but the game is pushed to 630. All right, buddy? So I will be up. Well, you I just knew you, you were going to catch me on that if it was a day. Like, why would I be awake? Anyway, anyways, anyways. First mm-hmm. of all, that's awesome, though, as well. Um, I love that. Um. But yeah, no, um, I could see either team pulling this out. And unfortunately for us, every week when we do these podcasts, if we see a game where we think either team could pull it out, we have to make a choice. So I made my choice in the choice is the Bills. I'm not going, it's not going to be an, a major epic loss on my end other than this. <laughs> if um, that was the tattoo, by the way, not, uh, but it's not going to be a major loss for me if the Chiefs win. Like, like, um, what was I going to say? Um, I understand where it's like, if the Bills lose this game, it's the equivalent to the Cowboys, where we're not going to take them. We're not going to take the Cowboys seriously. It, 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 that was the last straw, right? That they lost to the Packers. Last straw. We're ne- like, this year's different. Can never be said again. We can never take Allen in the playoffs against Mahomes again if they lose this game. I understand. I don't care if Chris Jones and Travis Kelsey aren't playing next year for whatever reason let's say they're both hurt unfortunately I, you, you can't do it you can't do it you can't say this time is different this time is different because they're on the road oh well next time is different because they're missing this piece oh well next time is different because it's like they got a new coat or tell through a time no it's too many changes at this point i um i'll tell you what else is different though the overtime rules <laughs> they're gonna win because the new overtime oh uh, that's right the ones that everybody cried about um I um You're the only one who hates that. I um I I think that also too something that I saw too in the Chiefs game was that it, it was pretty clear to me that everybody kind of thought that Travis Kelsey was having an off season this regular season, but it becomes more and more apparent that they were basically yeah. just kind of resting him without resting him. Oh, you think? Yeah. Like like from from what I saw against the Dolphins. It's clear to me that Travis Kelsey is gonna be just fine. Like, and he he's still he's still in his prime. And I think they've just been kind of it, it, that's like like during the Cavaliers years with LeBron, the second go around, everybody was kind of like in the regular season, he was just kind of coasting, and everyone was like, Oh, like, does that mean he's kind of slowing down? But he was saving his energy essentially for the playoffs. And in the playoffs, he would just boost back to being, you know, the best player ever again. Um, and yeah. so I think that's kind of the approach they're trying to take with Kelsey and I'm kind of seeing that and I'm interested to see like, cause Kelsey always like when they play, he always dominates the bills for whatever reason, always. And with a beat up defense, I don't see that being any different this time around. So, I mean, I, I didn't think, I didn't think Kelsey played a crazy game. I saw no. he had a couple drop. Kelsey never has drops. No, but this I, year he does. They were also playing in like a record breaking cold. Like I, I I don't, I don't place that as like, like that's, that's a completely different situation. I'm just saying that what I saw out there, he looks like him. And I think that when it comes to the bills, like I said, like if the bills were fully healthy and didn't have all these things going against them, like there's a, there's a chance that I might pick the bills. Like, honestly, like I'm not. And I feel like you were trying to make it seem like I think that like you were crazy for picking the bills. Like, no, I I just I just don't. I think if the bills were healthier, it would be a much like more and more even thing to the point where even the bills are should be the favorites. But I don't know. I I just I just I, I don't see it, man. They had like 10 players not practicing this week because they were so banged up from that game on Monday. Like so, I mean, I, just... I I think, I think their offense is pretty pretty healthy. Um, I, that's and why I, I keep and saying I'm, their I'm, defense. 
on, on, on top of that, um, I, I know, but you talk, I, the, the, for the last like couple of minutes, this statement has been on the Bills as a whole. Um, I think the other thing to, can take in, to take into consideration, too, for the Bills is I've never seen Allen utilize his tight ends like this. Um, in a year where Stephon Diggs' production is extremely down, last week, um, Kincaid and um, – can't exactly think of – I can't think of his name because they never um, – it begins with a K as well. But um, they um, they got the first – they got both got touchdowns in the first. Like he's he's figuring out how to spread the ball around in a time where his number one wide receiver isn't performing to his standard. Um, so yes, I I do understand that most of the question marks that you and pretty much I should have are on the other side of the ball when Kate, when yep. Patrick Mahomes but, but is wait, holding it. But wait, but coach brought up a good point actually. On first things first, he was talking about the running back. I don't know if they have another running back in. Um, I think the Bills are doing on um on Sunday. But he... Dawson Knox, I didn't know what began with his K. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, James Cook and um, I think the guy's name is Johnson or something like that. Yeah, but he was saying what his argument was, Coach, was that these these running backs and stuff are only averaging like two yards a carry or something like that. So I mm. think that that's that is gonna. You're right. But my thing is, I think that that's going to make Josh Allen go back into, I have to be the hero here. I have to save the day. And I think that's going to backfire on him. And then also, too, yeah, like, they could do whatever they want on offense. If our, if arguably the most talented quarterback ever is playing against an injured defense, he's going to take advantage of that. And that's going to be very, very hard to overcome. Was Was that running back stat just the, against the Steelers? I have no idea. I mean, I because I don't I don't believe that was them over the year. This was the year that the Bills kind of finally figured out the running back position. No, no I'm saying so whoever I, was the whoever is gonna be starting at running back on Sunday. James Cook isn't playing. It's it's James Cook um has been really good this year. Um yeah, no, no, he's playing. I, I don't know what that stat – maybe it was against the Steelers. Um, I I wouldn't put much stock into that just because um, if, if it was just against the Steelers, that's one game, and this whole season has been a complete turnaround for the Bills at running back. Like last year, they had Singletary playing horribly. This, this year, is... they got James Cook, and there were some weeks where he'd lead the, the league in running, I, I, I think. But. You also have to remember, as much as this is, you could you could say this is the worst Chiefs team ever. This is also the best defense that Patrick Mahomes has ever had. So that's also something to take right. into consideration as well. Like I just think there's too mm -hmm. much going against Buffalo here. Again, if they were healthy, I, yeah, I would say yeah. But unfortunately, I just think there's way too much going against them. All I have to say to that, never a doubt. Um, by the way. So yeah, last I'm looking right now. Last week, James Cook averaged four point four yards a carry, and Ty Johnson got three point two, which aren't crazy numbers. But I don't know where Coach is getting that from because it cannot be from. Maybe it's just Ty Johnson. Maybe the backup running back. I don't know why they cut Leonard Fournette. He must really have aged in the past couple of years. Like he was never anything special, but like who the hell is Ty Johnson? You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. That being said, uh. I think that is all. Um, thank you guys for coming and watching. Um, we will be back next week for the um, championship games, which holy crap, we're already we're already here at the championship games. Basically, um, we're gonna know at what like seven o'clock tonight. At least one team is making it to the AFC championship, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. We have. A lot of plans. We have a lot of plans for when football season ends. So there's stuff there that you're not going to want to miss. Um, unless you don't like any of our other content, then you can probably just wait till. But yeah. Sir, See all righty. Peace out. I can't find the end button. Oh, here we go. Peace.